Many are asking who is better positioned for the next cutting edge technology when it comes to AI and you know what's going on with semiconductors and so on. But wouldn't it be also important to be looking at how the general purpose AI is seeping through each economy? How, which country is doing a better job at transferring, spreading, diffusing AI into their economy for the greater adoption of artificial intelligence? Yes, that, that's a great point uh, in 2025 because uh, we are moving beyond AI models into AI applications. And just to your point, uh, now the competition is about which country can incorporate AI into the economy more quickly and scale them more quickly. Uh, and for that, you know, China has certain advantages uh, because uh, China has been an infrastructure investor uh, for decades. And in recent years, it puts the pressure, uh, puts the focus on new infrastructure, you know, the digital infrastructure, cloud computing, and the data centers. And for that, uh, China uh, can use the uh, uh, centralized infrastructure to scale AI applications into the economy more, 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 more easily than the U.S. market, which is led by the private cloud. What do you think is the focus right now for the PRC, for China at the moment? Is it more on in innovation side or diffusion side? It's more on the application side. I think the best example is to look at the new releases by Tencent and Google last couple of days. You know, uh, mm. la uh, almost at the same time, uh, last couple of days, you know, Tencent uh, released the, the, uh, the Huiyuan application, which is the most advanced uh, uh, creation um, model for three-dimensional AI image asset, uh, which is a practical application, real time. And for, ten, uh, for, for Google, is the DeepMind uh, released a, a, a new application called Alpha Volvo, uh, Evo Alpha Evolve, uh, which essentially is about algorithm training autonomously, uh, which is very much a funda foundational technology. So when you look at these two markets, they have different strengths. Uh, the U.S. still leading in innovation at the fundamental level, but the China market is much uh, better or more used to uh, get new technologies into the economy and scale them quickly. You know, having the knowledge that you have about China and its AI capabilities while teaching in the United States, what do you think is the biggest, perhaps, misunderstandings that Western world has about China and its AI? Yes. Uh as Jensen once said, actually China is not that behind, uh, uh, the, the, behind the U.S. in terms of AI race. Uh, but in, 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 the, in the U.S., uh, people may think deep seek is just a one-off phenomenon, but it's quite the opposite, right? You know, the, the U.S. market uh, is more dominated by a few big platforms, a few big players, uh, and closed-door uh, 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 models such as uh, Anthropic, you know, open AI and the dominating uh, chip player, uh, NVIDIA, so on and so forth. Right? In China, actually, there are far more players because in China, you have a, a huge, uh, huge infrastructure uh, foundation and uh, lots of talents plus the open source models. So therefore, all the companies that are used to mobile internet applications last decade are now going full speed to turn AI into mobile applications. And, and, and that's something that the U.S. market has not paid attention to.